Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. And this is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick series preview to the Pittsburgh Penguin and New York Islanders. As I'm rocking my usual hockey shirt that I wear for regular uh, hockey videos that are not about my hometown team. But this is going to be a very um, interesting um, series for the Islanders, particularly because they're coming in struggling big time. Where this series definitely favors Pittsburgh, coming in who are cruising eight and two in their last ten, really rounded out the back half of the season, have been the best team really in the back half of the season since Ron Hextall and Brian Burke came in there. So. Excuse me, that's going to be a very keen success for them. Casey DeSmith was able to step up early on this season for Pittsburgh. And then Tristan Yari was able to go back to his winning ways and really have a very good season when all things were done. Um, after struggling at the very beginning and finishing 25-9-3 and with a 2.75, a 9.09, and two shutouts. But Varlamov, I mean, Varlamov was just exceptional this year and definitely might get some Vezina votes. I know they only nominate three, but once you go on Hockey Reference, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't get nominated to be in the top five when it comes to overall uh, voting it when it's all said and done. But he was 19-11-4. He led the league, I believe, by the end of the season with seven shutouts, a 9-2-9 percentage, a 2-0-4 goals against to go with those seven shutouts. I think um, the only way the Islanders are really going to be able to win this series is if Semyon Varlamov really steps up and takes over, which you've seen goalies still series before, but I think that's really the way they're going to be able to do it, or they really beat them in their possession numbers, because the one thing, the only offensive stat the Islanders actually beat Pittsburgh in, who's one of the best offensive teams in hockey, is the faceoff dot. They're ninth in the league, where Pittsburgh's all the way down at 21st in the league. So if you can get a lot of possession, maybe you can get your offense going a little bit more against Pittsburgh, but Tristan Yari then has been, the counter effect would be Tristan Yari has actually been really good in the second half of the season, so even if you get some chances going, he and then <clears throat> he and um, Varlamov can then just get into a goalie duel, where then I would always take Pittsburgh in that matchup, so I would still say that favors Pittsburgh since of their offensive output, they have more of a percentage chance of someone really being able to step up to get the goal. They're second in the league in goals per game, uh, 11th in uh, shots, but then their power plays fourth, their shooting percentage is first, so they definitely get a lot of shots towards the net and try to get a lot of shots on goal, generate a lot of good offensive scoring changes. Pittsburgh is a very dangerous team. I don't think that plays well for an Islanders team. Yes, they're very good defensively, the Islanders, but the big bugaboo for them that's going to kill them against Pittsburgh is their 20th in goals, 22nd in shots, their shooting percentage is all the way down at 17, and their power play is 21st in the league, so usually when a team really is not anywhere close to the offense of their counterpart that they're playing in a series, you say, well, maybe their special teams will make up for it because they're good on the power play. Well, the Islanders haven't even been that, so I think it's going to be a pretty struggle for the Islanders to be able to win this series. I do see them winning, obviously, at least one game, but I do think there is a chance and I'm going to actually predict it. And I think the Penguins are going to win this series in five. The Islanders, they tell you you want to come into the playoffs hot. Well, the Islanders are doing the opposite of that at 3-4-3. Three, and three. Pittsburgh's doing exactly that, coming in at 8-2. and two. I think they're going to stay hot. Malkin's day-to-day. Oshie was day-to-day when I did the preview for Washington. He was ended up playing. I'm sure Malkin will be a game-time decision and probably end up playing, too. The key for Pittsburgh is their power play is really good. Their penalty kill does struggle. So other than just Varlamov taking a series, Pittsburgh being stupid and just undisciplined would obviously um, be a way that the Islanders might be able to win if that struggling power play that was aforementioned actually can counterbalance that. Because like I said earlier, uh, the Islanders' power play really struggles with Pittsburgh penalty kill struggles. So will they be able to get going or will Pittsburgh's penalty kill look better against the Islanders' struggling power play? So realistically, I just don't think by the numbers or just by play and watching them on the ice of late, this series just matches up very well for the Islanders. And the only way I see them really being able to take it, which their key to being able to take the series, is literally just their goaltender, Semyon Varlamov, who's played at a Vezina level all season. He would really have to step up, have like a Demko-esque series, how Demko stepped up for Vancouver last year and really play big time hockey I think for them to be able to win this series and they're going to have to generate more offense and be more consistent in the offensive zone which I just don't see all the sudden turning on from the Islanders they play a very good playoff style game when they play a lot more tougher they try to go through you rather than going around you that's a great playoff style game 
but they've been playing that to round out the season too to try to get a better seating and they just kept falling they haven't been playing as well that's not a good sign Pittsburgh's been playing great so I think because of the Pittsburgh offense and their great offensive firepower combined with their consistency and net that Yari's provided in the second half and then dismiss also been good if they have to go to him he's a little banged up now but he should be good to go shortly so if they have to go to him he'll be good as well I think that's going to behoove Pittsburgh to have a better series plus guys like Matheson and CC around Chris Letang have really stepped up and they had a better defense than people expected coming in too so I see Pittsburgh winning this series in five games I hope you all enjoyed this series preview right now the Washington and Boston Bruins game one is on tie 2-2 I hope you all enjoy the end of that game if you're watching as well have a great safe and pleasant night everybody please like comment and subscribe to keep the channel going peace out